Okay, in this video we're going to look at this example three and example four here. So please write down example three. 15x minus 12 is less than 12x. 15x minus 12 is less than 12x. Okay, and our steps are distributive property, add like terms, and then solve. But the problem is there's no distributive property here. There's no like terms. I mean, you can't go 15 minus 12 to get 3, right? They're not like terms. See, that's an x term, that's a number, right? Um, so we have to solve right away. Now, the problem is we have an x on both sides, but we have a number, just one number, okay? So there's a couple of ways of doing this, and I, I'll do both ways, but I just want to show you what I think is the easiest way of all. Just think about this. You have a number here. You want to basically have x's on one side, numbers on the other. You want to leave that number by himself. So you want to get rid of 15x. Because if you get rid of him, then you're just left with the number by itself. And obviously all the x's are going to be on the other side then. And that's what you want. You want x's on one side, numbers on the other. So my advice is get rid of the 15x, right? So what would you do to get rid of 15x? Subtract 15x, right? Now what do you have on both sides? So 15x minus 15x is 0 and you've got negative 12 on that side. What's 12x minus 15x? What does that give? Well, that's a negative number, a negative what? A negative 3x, right? Now, I subtracted from both sides. Do I change the direction of the inequality or not? Remember, when we subtract from both sides, it's fine. When you add to both sides, it's fine. When you divide both by a positive on both sides, so the inequality stays the same direction until you divide by a negative, and then and then the left side is going to be more than the right or you, then that's when you change direction when you divide by a negative right we're not dividing by a negative in this case we're subtracting and when you subtract that's fine you can sub subtract from both sides don't need to change direction so subtract from both sides the inequality stays in the same direction right now the x is here and it's being multiplied by a negative three how do you get x by itself you've got to divide by negative three on both sides so what do you get on both sides now so on the right we've got negative three x over negative three and so it's a negative over negative positive three over three is one so one x on the left it's negative over negative which is positive 12 over 3 is 4. You're dividing both sides by a negative. What do you do with the inequality sign? When you divide by a negative you must change direction. So the point is over here and the gap is here. So it's going to change around. The point's going to be here. The gap's going to be here. Okay. You got to change direction. Okay, does that make sense? We divided by a negative. That's why we change direction. When we subtract, it stays the same. But when we divide by a negative, we got to change direction. Now, read this. What does this say? Read it two different ways. If you start here and read it in in start here and read it in this direction, what does it say? 4 is greater than x. Okay? 4 is greater than x. Now I want you to read it this way as well. Read it in that direction also. Start here. Say x. Say x is less than 4. Is, does that make sense? If you start here and read x is less than 4. Now I want you to write that with the x on the left of the on the left side. What do you get when you write it with the x on the left side? you get x is less than 4, right? Now, we change the direction of the inequality because we went from this to this. These both mean the same thing. Okay, obviously.
Now, I just want to show you another way to, to solve this. There's, a, there's lots of, there's, there's different ways. But another way would be, um, let's see, what would another way be? You could have subtracted 12x from both sides. That's fine. You would get 3x minus 12 over here. Don't forget, this is not 3x equals 12 or 3x is less than 12. This is 3x minus 12 and over here you get 0. 3x minus 12 is less than 0. Now you've got to add 12 to both sides and you get 3x is less than 12 and divide both sides by a positive 3 and you get x is less than 4. If you do it that way that's perfectly fine. Just remember to follow the steps correctly because you do in fact get 0 on this side. And you've got a couple, you've got more steps, I guess, but either way. Uh, x is less than 4 on a number line. Here's a number line. Here's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And we've got uh, positive infinity here and negative infinity here. Less than 4 would be 3, 2, 1, and 0, and so on, right? So all these numbers and also 3.99 would also be less than 4. Okay, So all the way up to 4 but not including 4. So that's the way you've got a parenthesis. And you've got all these numbers here. And put your arrow and you fill in the number line like that. So that's x is less than 4 on the number line. Okay. Example 4, 7x minus 10 is greater than or equal to 5x. Write it down, 7x minus 10 is greater than or equal to 5x. So please press pause, solve this entire thing yourself and graph it all by yourself and then check the video and see if you got the answer right. So pr please press pause, solve the whole thing yourself and check the video. Okay, I hope you pressed pause and tried it. I'm going to go over it quickly now. I hope you pressed pause and tried it. So there's a couple of ways of doing it. You could subtract 5x but it's actually a little quicker to first subtract 7x from both sides. If you do that, you get a negative 10 over here and a negative 2x on this side because that's a 5x minus 7x. We subtracted from both sides, so that's why the inequality stays in the same direction. Now, x is being multiplied by a negative 2, so we need to divide both sides by a negative 2. On this side, it's a negative 10 over negative 2. That's a positive 5, and over here, Remember, you're dividing by negative 2, not negative 2x. You don't divide by negative 2x. If you divided by, if you went 2x over 2x, the x's would cross cancel. Okay? And so would the 2. So you'd be left with 1 over 1, which is 1. You don't want to be left with the number 1. You want to be left with x. If these 2's cross cancel, I'm left with x. Okay? So you're dividing both sides by negative 2. Anyway, if you divide by a negative, what happens to the inequality sign? Do you get that? See, dividing by a negative, it changes direction. If you read it in this direction, it says x is greater than or equal to 5. See that? 5 is less than or equal to x, or x is greater than or equal to 5. So if I change that around, x is greater than or equal to 5. That's what it's saying. Okay. The other way I could have solved it was I could have subtracted 5x from both sides. That would give me 2x minus 10. And don't forget, 5x minus 5x is 0. And then add 10 to both sides. And I would have 2x is greater than or equal to 10. And then divide both sides by 2, positive 2. And I have x is greater than or equal to 5. So either way, you would get x is greater than or equal to 5. On a number line, did you get the number line? Press pause and do the number line now if you haven't done it yet. Positive infinity, negative infinity, put zero in the middle, find out where five is, and then just make a quick sketch of the number line. So one, two, three, four, five, here's five. Greater than or equal to five would mean the number six, or seven, or eight, right? Any of these numbers? And in fact, also 5 would work, and so would 5.5, .5 and 6.5, and 7.5, and all the numbers in between. So greater than or equal to has the square brackets, because 5 is included as part of the answer. And all the numbers above 5 as well. So 5 and more. 